welcome back to my channel. So sorry I haven't posted for a little while, but I've been really busy on winter break with my family and my friends. I actually didn't get to see that many of my friends, which was really sad. I was supposed to do a video with Nina, at Nina Smith. Go check her out because she's awesome. But anyways, um, but I didn't get to do that. So today I'm going to do a video where I try foreign foods. I ordered some foreign candy online and I'm going to be trying that. So let's get into that. So the first thing I'm going to be trying is this. It's called Tortica Jodro. I don't really know what country this is from. It doesn't tell me. It's just this. It's called Bow Candy. It's, it's like a company. You can get candy every month different foreign candy if you want but I, I just got one anyways so I think some of these in here are from like Mexico or something they're like they're Mexican candy and then there's Japanese and I don't know I don't know what this is but I'm gonna try it I want to say it's Mexican candy but it's definitely not it's I think it might be like German or something I don't know so I'm going to open it. That's what it looks like. It looks kind of like marshmallow and chocolate, which I love that combination. So here we go. Okay, so I got it open, but I kind of squished it in the process because I was really struggling. Looks like um those those wafer cookies, you know, they're like rectangular and you get them. There's like pink or chocolate. That's what it looks like. Mmm, that's really good. I think it has like nuts in it or something. But it's definitely really chocolatey. I don't taste any marshmallow in it, but yeah, so that was good. Next, I'm going to be trying these. I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are Mexican candy because it says De La Rosa, and that's a Mexican candy. So these are Pulperin Dots, and apparently they taste like fruit, so... If that's true. Um. <laughs> Definitely Mexican candy. It's like sweet and then it's really hot at the end. It doesn't really taste. It does kind of taste like fruit. I don't really know. Oops. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like these. They taste like something I've had before. Like a candy. They taste like, oh, oh. I don't like it. I don't like that one. Mm -mm. Oh. Ugh. No offense to anyone that likes those or made those, but I didn't like that flavor. But I have more and they're different flavor and they're they're they they look like watermelon. I think these ones were just orange flavored or something. Yeah. These ones taste like watermelon, and I like watermelon, so I think I'll like these, so let's just give them a try. Mm. They're better than the other ones, but I don't really like the texture of it. It's really weird. like. 
I don't even know how to describe the texture of that, but I didn't like that. For some reason, I feel like it had a different texture than the other one. The other one, when you bit into it, it was really soft. And this one was, oh, I don't know, it was weird. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try this Keston Dessert. It looks like there's onions on it, so this is, this should be a pleasant surprise to my mouth. And where does this come from? I wish, is it like a... And there's nothing to tell me where it comes from either, so. I don't know. I'm really scared to try this because they look like onions, but they might be like chestnuts or something. I don't know. I'm I'm just stupid, apparently. But why would they make onion chocolate? I don't know. Okay, I'm about to try it. Um, it, seriously, it tastes like eggnog. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's weird. It's not bad because I like eggnog, but... I'm sure it's not what it's meant to taste like, but it's just kind of, it's, it's different. I should be rating these is what I should be doing. This gets like a, like a 4 out of 10 because it, it's not awful, but it's not exactly satisfying. The first thing I tried, I'd give that a 10 out of 10, and then the other two things, probably like fives. Anyway, next thing I'm going to be trying is this. It's called a, a Liz, Lizly. And look at how cute this is. Look, it's a little bird. Yeah, it's a little bird. And it looks like it's just chocolate on a stick, basically. So, this should be easy. Weird, it's a bird on the outside, but when you open it, it's a bear. This is really good chocolate. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Like that's really, really good chocolate. Must be from Germany. JK, I don't know where it's from. It says, looks like it could be German. I don't know. Anyways, 10 out of 10. Would do again. Um, next thing I'm going to try is another Tortica. It's like straight covered in chocolate. It looks like, it looks like a nutty bar. Tastes like one, two. Ten out of ten. We'll probably buy again. JK, I'm gonna be healthy this year. JK. Or JK. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Now I'm gonna try this, which I'm almost positive this is a Japanese candy, obviously. Look at all that. And it's, you know, weird. It looks like you have to like do a bunch of stuff to this before you eat it. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I think it's just marshmallows, chocolate, and graham cracker, which 
I love all those. <gasps> They're like, they feel like the consistency of a Lucky Charms marshmallow. Yum. Okay. So on the directions, oh no, I spilt it all over. On the directions on the back, it says to pour these sauces in these little pan things. I can't read Japanese, by the way. There's just literally pictures, in case you were probably just thinking I'm that smart. Yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so it looks like this. Oh, no. That's okay. Anyways, they, they give me a little fork, so I'm going to stick that in the... Why do you give me the fork if it doesn't work? You jerks. So the fork doesn't work, so I'm just going to dip it in. Cover that. Hmm. I want more chocolate. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Those are awful. Oh my god. Mm, they literally don't taste like anything. Zero out of ten. But, like, they're hard. Chocolate and graham cracker taste good together, but this is just disgusting. I don't know if it's that hard because it had to ship here and then it sat here for a few days and then it got bad or if it's really just that bad. I don't know. If anyone's watching this has ever tried this before, let me know if they're actually this bad or if it's something went wrong because that was awful. Okay, the last thing I'm going to be trying is this Meguelito Mexican candy, I'm assuming. Maybe not though. I don't know, we'll see if it's hot. It's weird, it's like a it's like a sucker. I think it's just a sucker, but it could it, it like looks like licorice, but it's not. It's a sucker. We're gonna try that. Okay, so mm. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. I give this like a 9 out of 10. I like it. I think I might be doing another one of these some other time and ordering different foreign candy and I just like to try new things. So let me know if you want me to do that and I will because I think it's fun because I love food and I'll literally try anything. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.